Yo, what's going on guys? So in this video today, I'm going to be talking about why I went to stretch res, went back to native, and then now I'm back on stretched. Confusing, I know. <laughs> stretch res was probably one of the nastiest things I've ever seen when I first used it back in season four, but I kept on trying it again and again just because like how bored I was of the game, okay? That I was literally like using different reses to make up for how bad the game is. And eventually I really liked it. And just something about stretch res. And like, I don't know, it, it might be placebo. I don't know, but it just feels so freaking good. Like, I really don't know how to explain it. Like stretch res is literally like playing a whole different game. And it's, it's just something that, you know, should not be messed with. It, stretch res is so amazing. And after a while, you really do gain a certain amount of fondness of the way it looks. Like, it, I don't un understand how something can be so ugly when you first see it, but then look so beautiful, like, later on. So basically, I used stretch res for a long time, and um, from the beginning of season 5, and... I went back to native res in season six, beginning of season six. Now get this, the reason why I went back to native res is because Bright Bomber didn't look good on stretch. Like, oh my God, bro. I literally went back to uh, native res because Bright Bomber didn't look good. And it was the biggest curveball i've ever had in playing fortnite the game just felt so off characters were so hard to hit and like the sensitivity felt like not faster and not slower at the same time it felt like the same but it really wasn't and it was just the most awkward thing ever and i played the entirety of season six and a lot of the beginning of this season in native res yo i just realized there have been a big booger in like sitting in here like this whole video so when i went back to um stretch res in season seven it was because i saw a tweet from one of my friends simply april saying um I, it was just a clip and i was like Dang, she's playing stretch res. I remember back in season five when I was telling, yo, simply, you got to go to stretch res. It's amazing. Okay. And she's like, nah, fam. And I saw her on stretch res and I was like, bro, I I'm going to get on stretch res for, for old time's sake. And it was really bad. Uh, I I'm never going back to native. Like I never officially said this, but I hate native so much. Like, there's just something about it. I don't care if, if Bright Bomber doesn't look good on Stretch Res, okay? Like, I don't, I don't care. And what I found that Stretch Res has something really to do with my confidence in the game. The season where I switched to Stretch Res, I had the most solo wins. And I went back to um, Native Res in Season 6. And my solo wins, I didn't have as much in season six as I did in season um, five. And it's not like there's a direct correlation. There's um, multiple factors into the reason, like totally being tired of, um, you know, playing solos and stuff and like bad mechanics added into the game. Um, but it just adds a certain amount of confidence to my gameplay that really makes me be able to go into a fight being like, I can win this. It's truly something native res has never offered to me before. And you know, no matter how bad it may look, make the game look or people not enjoying it on stream, stretch res is really nice. And you know, I recommend you guys, um, you know, trying it out. It's, it's really amazing. Um, so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did like subscribe, turn on notification, simple. And yeah, I did get a haircut. I did get a beard cut and I look like a dad. Okay. I, I look like I just picked up my children and I'm ready to smoke a cigar. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and yeah, have a good one. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.